Hi everybody, happy 2017. Um, I'm Lauren and this is Brittany and we're two of Festival's Dietitians. And today we're really excited to share with you a lot of really fun, new and exciting things we have going on in 2017. Yes, so as Lauren said, you know us as Festival's Dietitians, but we're kind of changing the way we're referring to ourselves this year. We're calling ourselves Mealtime Mentors to better describe all the services we offer our guests. Yes, so you probably know us from helping you get 20 minute meals on the table, um, helping your kids eat more vegetables, helping you eat more vegetables, um, and helping you with some of your special diets. And we're still doing all those things, um, but we're really focusing on meal time in 2017. And we recognize that it's hard to get yes. a meal on the table, mm -hmm. um, but we have lots of fun and exciting ideas to really make meal time easy. Um, and really achievable for all of our guests. Yes, we want to help our guests build better meals ultimately and just making that happen starting in the grocery store. So yes, we're still your dietitians, but we're also your mealtime mentors. And one of the mealtime ideas that we're focusing on in 2017 is something called half plate plants. So our goal is to help share some fun recipes, um, different shopping tips, different prep tips on how to eat more plants in 2017. Absolutely, and there's so many benefits with eating more plants, um, not only health-wise, but also economically and sustain sustainability-wise, too. Yes, so it kind of sounds boring, eating more plants, um, but we have a lot of fun and exciting ideas. Um, and one of the ideas that we already have up on our blog um, is something called Power Bowls, which are kind of trendy yes. um, coming into 2017. But it's a great way to combine a lot of your favorite vegetables and plant-based proteins like chickpeas or beans or nuts and seeds into a bowl with veggies and maybe even hummus, um, lemon juice, things like that. Just a bunch whole of fresh grains. whole grains, yes. Um, a lot of really fresh whole food flavors um, combined to make one really nutrition-packed dish. So essentially, it's a heartier salad is kind of what we're referring it to. And yeah. you know, everybody kind of thinks the salad is boring and it gets a little monotonous after a while. It's but not the case. Power bowls are awesome because they do combine all those different food groups into a bowl that you can really mix and match based on what you have in your pantry. Mm -hmm. um, or maybe you want to try one new ingredient just to change it up a little bit. Right. Um, so they're really fun. And yes. we have a couple ideas so far on our blog. Um, one of them is a Mediterranean inspired power bowl, yes. um, which is really colorful. It combines all those great Mediterranean flavors. Um, and maybe some of you have heard of the Mediterranean diet. Um, so it combines all those heart healthy fats, fiber, lots of veggies into a fun bowl that's also really eye appealing. Yes. And speaking of the Mediterranean diet, that's part of the reason why we're going with half plate, plate, half plate plants this year. Um, it's because a lot of those diet um, trends that you'll find like paleo, Mediterranean, things like that. At the end of the day, they're all really plant-based and that's what they have in common and that's why they work. Um, that's why they're so popular. So going with that plant-based theme is a winner. Yes, definitely. And a couple other fun ideas, um, something called sheet pan meals, which oh, are yes. kind of catching trend right now, which we so talked about um, a couple months ago on a different Facebook Live. Um, but sheet pan meals are super easy. You have just a pan and you can combine some sort of protein. We did um, pork chops yep. a couple months ago. We're making Since chicken then, today. we've done chicken, we've done fish. Um, so you basically get your protein, put it on a pan, and then also throw a bunch of veggies on. So we've done potatoes, we've done kale, onion, uh -huh. whatever you have on hand, you mm -hmm. can throw it on your pan. Cook it at high heat in the oven, like 425, so mm -hmm. pretty high heat. And you have a whole meal done in That's a matter so of 20 minutes maximum. Yes, so easy and a great way to incorporate new vegetables or use up vegetables you have on hand. So again, really the combination um, is up to you and it can be really customizable. Another one of our favorite plant-based meals is smoothie bowls. So it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a smoothie in a bowl. So you're eating it with a spoon instead of with a straw. But again, you can add all your favorite ingredients and customize it however you want. I'm usually using almond milk or cow's milk and then yogurt, a combination of fruits and nuts and seeds and berries, things like that. So. Yeah, essentially they're a little bit thicker. So yes. instead of um, sipping on it, which you could totally make, just adding a little bit more liquid, yeah. um, these are just a little bit thicker. So you can sit down and enjoy your smoothie bowl with a ton of different toppings. And I think that's the most fun part, honestly, yes. yeah. is you can add in oats and chia seeds and different fruits, um, a drizzle of honey, whatever you like, mm -hmm. and you can really make it very pretty. And that's kind of what we're about too. Yes. In 2017 is making good food 
look and taste good because right. essentially we eat with our eyes. Yes. Um, so really taking a little bit of that extra time just to make your food look eye appealing is going to go a long way, especially when it comes yes. to fruits and veggies. And in our, oh, go ahead. We have 20 some people that are watching us live, so we want to say thank you to all of those viewers. And maybe if you guys, since we have built that audience, can remind everyone why we're chatting uh, live today. Yeah, so we have a lot of changes coming up um, with our dietitian team in 2017. The first one being is the way we, re re we refer to ourselves. We're now calling ourselves Mealtime Mentors, which gives a better description of all the services we provide to our guests. So not only just providing information on um, nutrition and special diets, but also helping our guests build better meals for themselves and their families. And just to reiterate what Brittany said, we know how difficult this is to create mealtime. Um, each of us all always experiences our own barriers. Um, we're busy. Um, we have a lot of the same struggles that you do. Um, so we're here to stand beside you and we're on this together to all help, yes. um, help each other eat more meals at home and just incorporate more fruits and veggies into our meals. And one way we're doing that is with our new Half Plate Plants campaign that we're rolling out in 2017. So really focusing on making at least half our plates plant-based at every meal. So then we also asked our viewers about their favorite uh, easy meals, and this might play really well into your half plate, half plate plant. <laughs> it's a mouthful. Yes. Um, spaghetti meatballs, Mike said was his favorite, and I think you guys might have a very unique and veggie friendly way to do spaghetti meatballs. Oh, absolutely. So we have these new noodles in our produce department that are made with zucchini, uh, butternut squash, and then there's a sweet potato based one. And we like working with the zucchini ones, we call them zoodles, um, to make our own form of spaghetti. So it's lower in carbohydrates, but it's a way to get in those veggies. And then you just, they don't cook as long, so it's a lot quicker. Um, you toss them with the other ingredients in your pasta, warm it up, and you have a spaghetti meatball style dish ready to go. And yeah, you can use regular pasta sauce with it too. And they're on sale this week, so yes. if this if a week if there's a week to try them, it's this week. They're mm -hmm. on sale. They're in our produce department. Um, and to Brittany's point, they cook so quickly. I yes. made them on Monday night. I tried the butternut squash variety, so delicious. And honestly, they were done in less than ten minutes. Yes, really, really quick. Nice. So a lot faster than boiling pasta, which takes a lot longer. Mm -hmm. What are some other trendy things that we can expect to see from you guys in 2017? So we talked about power bowls a little bit, which is a great way to combine a lot of your favorite nutrition-packed veggies and maybe even try some new um, options too. So if you're combining veggies, whole grains, um, plant-based proteins all together in a bowl to create a lot of flavor and just a really nutrition-packed dish. And we're also going to be featuring a lot of different ethnic recipes in 2017. Yes. Um, so focusing on all those different great flavors that it sounds really difficult to achieve, but actually with a few ingredients, yep. um, you can really make a really flavorful dish um, that's also somewhat inspired by an ethnic group. So whether that be Asian food, we've got some recipes coming up for that, mm -hmm. Korean, um, Thai, we've done a couple of Thai food, mm -hmm. Indian. Recipes. Yep. and lots of Hispanic themed recipes as well. So be on the lookout for that. And if you have ideas of things that you want us to make in 2017, yes. please let us know. So reach out to us on any of our social platforms. Um, otherwise, you can go to our new site, bestfoods.com slash mealtime, yes. um, and you can submit a question or a comment to us right on our website. Um, we want to hear from you guys. We make yes. recipes for you. So let us know what you want to yes. see in 2017. And we love a new challenge. So if you have a favorite recipe that you want to see lightened up, um, we're happy to tackle that. So let us know. And um, back to our um, smoothie bowls, which we were just talking about yes. before. Um, so a thicker bowl that you eat with a spoon, you can top with a bunch of different flavors. Um, that's a great way to incorporate more, more fruits. Yes. And specifically talking about blueberries, which I'm super excited about because blueberries are by far my favorite fruit. Um, oh, gotcha. But come to winter, they're not always as good. But the great news is that we now have blueberries from Chile, and they are in our stores this week. They are on sale. They're two for four dollars, which mm -hmm. is an amazing price. Yes, and I've had them. They're delicious. <laughs> um, so you can stop in our stores this week. I bought them a couple days ago. They're delicious. They're sweet. They're plump. They're awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have a fun contest going on too with blueberries from Chili. So if you go to our Facebook page, um, we've got a couple posts up about um, our blog, which is, is Happy Blue Year. A couple ideas to eat blueberries in 2017. So just send us a comment. Um, and we'll be picking a winner to win a Nutribullet to help you make those wow. smoothie bowls at home. 
That's awesome. That's so exciting. I want to enter that. <laughs> Dan had a great question. He wants to know about some homemade soup recipes for winter and summer. I think people often think of soup for winter, but not summer. Definitely not. We have a great summer soup recipe on our blog. I believe it involves sweet corn, which is a great yes. summertime produce item. So definitely check out our blog at bestfoods.com slash blog. Um, and if you search soup, a bunch of those recipes will come up. Otherwise, it is the season for soups um, traditionally, so a lot of our recent blog posts are um, different soup ideas. Actually, we just made a corned beef and cabbage soup yes, last sneak week. sneak peek yes. for uh, March. We'll be rolling that recipe yeah, so. out. And we also have a great um, blog on our website about seasoning soups without salt, so trying to cut back on a lot of that sodium, because sometimes soups can be a little bit higher in sodium than we would like. Right. Um, we have a ton of great tips to make delicious, flavorful soups, um, with, but without adding a lot of sodium. Right, right. And if you pay attention to our dietitian's top pick blog, I'm recommending some awesome um, canned soup varieties this season too, for um, those of us that want convenient soup options. Yes, but thanks, Dan. We'll definitely um, try to incorporate some fun summer soup recipes yeah, I like into our blogs this summer. All right. Well, thank you all so much for tuning in today. Um, we look forward to rolling out some really fun, exciting recipes in 2017, and we want to hear from you. So let us know what you want to see in 2017, and we will um, welcome different ideas to include into our blogs and Facebook Lives and our TV segments as well. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Happy 2017.